If you've been following any of the news lately, MoviePass is in trouble. They went out of almost business where they went bankrupt, or at least they didn't have any cash to pay their, their servicers. And so nationwide, it was just down for over a, a day or even two days. And now they got some cash back, but now they're limiting other films and or even theaters or just saying, well, nope, you can't see this. I'm sorry, we're just not doing it. So what is really the state of what's gonna happen with MoviePass? And what does this mean for all the other subscription services. I mean, somebody's gotta come out on top, right? This totally disruptive service has really caused a ripple in how we approach movies and how we see movies and how we attend at the theaters. Now, I think the idea of MoviePass is a great idea. I think it's brilliant because what it does is it allows us as regular casual moviegoers to go to more movies and be ex exposed to more things that we might not be exposed to or that we might not even try but I don't think that their execution was necessarily on point. Now, I've heard some of the arguments that it's hurting the theater experience. Now, I kind of disagree with this. I mean, first off, I see way more films now than I did before I had MoviePass. That's just because I can go with my one-time monthly fee and I can see several movies you know, throughout the course of that month or year or whatever it is. Now for me, a family of four, when I go out to see a movie and I take my family, the four of us at a regular 2D evening showing, it is $49.60. That is just for us to get our butts in the seat. That's not the concessions, that's not anything else. Well, with that kind of cash being output, that means I see one, maybe two movies a month if we're splurging. And then I have to be really careful about what I buy at the concession stand. Maybe I'm just shoving a whole bunch of stuff in my wife's purse and then we don't even, you know, we don't even hit the concession stand, which really that hurts the theater themselves because we all know that they truly make their money on the concessions. That giant Coke, that doesn't really cost $6. It's probably 37 cents. But that's okay, when we go to the theater, we expect this and we pay it willingly because hey, who wants to just sit there in front of the movie like this? No, we sit there and we eat our popcorn and we drink our drink and that's part of the movie going experience. So is movie pass hurting that? No, you know what? It's because I go to more movies now, I also go to the concession stand more. So the money that I saved on the movies of paying for my ticket, I'm now actually spending to put it in the theater owner's pockets. I'm also more willing to try movies out. Like, because I can only watch one mate or maybe two movies a month without Movie Pass or some other subscription, subscription program, I am not really willing to go risky and just see something that I probably wouldn't normally watch. I would just go, you know what, we're gonna wait for Redbox or I'm gonna wait for Netflix. That's how it is. And so I wouldn't see many of these other movies and I wouldn't venture out to see some of the independent films. Now I would love to see them and I love them when I watch them, but when you have to choose with your budget, you go with what the whole family really wants to see. Here's the other thing, that the movie theaters are still getting paid by MoviePass. Well, at least while they have money and they are fulfilling their, their card services. But also the movie studios are still getting paid also. So when I go and I slide my, my MasterCard that has the movie pass on it, that money goes and however it funnels to and all the people get paid. So how is that really hurting the movie going experience? It's not devaluing the movie. If anything, it's drawing me there more. I am so apt to go see so many more movies that I love and hey, that's what it's all about, right? To get the butts in the seats, to get the eyeballs on the screen and experience something new or something that we may not have watched in the theater. Now, I think where MoviePass really shot itself in the feet is, well, multiple ways. First off, they begin restricting their users. I mean, come on, and how, not just restricting them in where you could see them, but also how. I mean, if you're paying, and I'm paying a monthly fee, and you're MoviePass, and you're just, you're paying this, what do you care if I see Infinity War five times, or if I see five different films? You've output the exact same amount of cash. So why not just let me be totally stupid and happy and go see whatever the crap movie I wanna see and just enjoy myself? Because I've paid you, you're paying the studio, what's the problem? They're also constantly changing the terms. And that is just not okay. No company can be successful when they're constantly changing the terms and conditions on their customers, especially when it says, at our convenience or without any prior notice. Hmm. That doesn't seem like you have my best, my best interest at in mind at all. And now we're even hearing about the restrictions on the times, the films, 
the the theaters themselves i mean and then we have the peak pricing and you've seen probably online where people have taken pictures taken selfies and and pictures of the theater they're the only ones in the theater and yet they had to pay peak pricing this is just dumb i don't think that you should have to do that at all I've paid you, you pay the theater. Don't stop jacking up the prices because you think it's going to be a hot movie. Well, guess what it is? That's what opening weekend is all about. Now I'm confident that some company is going to emerge with a very successful subscription plan for the films or for the movies. Because kind of like the Blu-ray HD DVD battle, one had to come out on top. And we all know that Blu-ray came out on top. And so I believe that while Movie Pass probably won't just stay on or stay alive. I mean, it's on life support as it is right now. I do believe that somebody is going to emerge at the top. They're going to take the movie pass model, which I think is probably a good idea in essence, and then tweak it so that it is truly profitable. And they're going to have the long-term game in mind where it's like, well, we're going to, okay, we're charging $150 per month. Well, nobody's buying that because that's just stupid. So now we're going to drop it to $9.95 a month awesome we have a ton of people sign up but then well okay that's not sustainable for us as a company well maybe you should have started out and thought about well what happens if two million people sign up in a month what are we going to do what is this going to do for our output and how many movies are we going to have to be paying for do we have enough cash i think those are things that you need to be prepared for and some company is actually going to do it maybe it's adam maybe it's fandango maybe it's even like cinemark or regal that they're going to be able to just get these all situated. Hey, Cinemia is out and they keep pushing all kinds of different options as well. So the, all of these competitors, they're really in there and they're changing up the market. And I think the ones who are ultimately going to benefit at the end are us as the consumers. So what's next? Who knows? But I hope some other companies really do take note of movie passes, hits and misses. They're great ideas and they're terrible ones. And they mix them all up and they throw out the bad and they keep the good and then they progress even further so that we can have something successful that allows us as casual moviegoers to attend more movies because we know that the theaters or at least the box office ticket prices keep increasing and increasing and increasing. And I don't know about you, but my salary doesn't keep increasing and increasing and increasing. So that means that I go to fewer and fewer and fewer movies each month. And as well, hey, I kind of do this on YouTube. I love movies. I want to keep reviewing them. So I need to go to the movies, right? I would love to know, do you have Movie Pass? Do you have some other subscription program? What are your thoughts on this whole thing? Let me know in the comments below. I'm Chris. This is Movies and Munchies. Thanks for couching with me. <music>